What's up geeks and gamers, it's Jeremy coming to you with another video and today I hope you have your physical copies of your favorite television shows, movies, and video games. This is something that if anybody that's been watching this channel for any significant amount of time or even a short period of time, you should already know this because Hollywood is all about revisionist history. Hollywood is all about changing things that are offensive today uh, that aren't where it wasn't offensive 20 years ago or 15 years ago or, or whatever. This is how Hollywood has always operated and it's getting worse and worse. And we have the latest victim of this nonsensical situation and you need to buy physical copies. You see behind me, I've got my physical copies of my video games, my favorite shows, uh, my favorite movies, and nobody is going to be able to change the history of these films. So right here, Disney censors Daryl Hannah's rear end and splash on Disney Plus. Plus, Disney censored uh, Hannah's naked rear uh, when they uploaded Splash to Disney Plus. Splash was first uh, the first film released by Touchstone Pictures, a label created by Walt Disney Studios to target adult audiences. In the Disney Plus version of Splash, originally released in 1984 and starring Tom Hanks and Daryl Hannah, Disney censored Hannah's naked butt as she di uh, dove into the ocean. Uh, they covered the scene up with CGI Splash. Um, not only did they cover up Hannah's rear as she dives in the water, but they also digitally made her hair longer in order to cover up more of her backside as she stands next to Hanks. The Verge reports that Disney confirmed Splash was censored. A representative told them that a few scenes were slightly edited to remove nudity. Ooh, bad nudity. You can see the original version below where Hannah's Madison uh, character gives Alan a kiss and then dives into the ocean. As she dives into the ocean, you can briefly see her. Yeah, I'm not going to play it, obviously. Uh, in the Disney Plus version, you can see that Disney added a giant splash to cover up her backside. Um... Let me see. YouTuber Clownfish PV pointed out that this isn't the first time Disney has censored their own content for Disney. Plus, great, great, great channel, by the way. Uh, this is the problem, right? This is the problem because a lot of stuff, especially Disney Plus, they are going to going in and censoring it. Um, he adds, Disney is sort of rewriting its own history, current year, and what the problem is with all digital media. Where even if you go buy a movie on Vudu or something, who is to say they might not decide to change it in two or three years? He continued, and then when you go to watch it, even though you bought that movie, the version you own or rent or lease or whatever is now the current version. It'd be like buying the original Star Wars trilogy on VHS and popping it in one day and finding the special edition has overwritten it. Absolutely. Not only is this censorship, uh, is the censorship an issue uh, of a digital media perspective, but it also shows Disney's complete and utter hypocrisy when it comes to enhancing their censorship. As The Verge points out, Disney has not censored Thor Ragnarok, which shows Hulk's backside completely nude. Uh, it also strange that Disney decided to censor the film to put it on Disney Plus instead of just putting it on Hulu, given the film was created under Touchstone and originally aimed at an older audience anyway. Uh, maybe more concerning is this type of censorship is becoming a habit for Disney. This is just the latest film uh, to be censored on Disney Plus. When the platform launched, uh, Star Wars fans uh, noticed the original Star Wars film once again changed the iconic scene between Han and Greedo. Um, let's see, yeah, I mean, there's, oh god, yes, the McClunky, oh my gosh, oh, you all know that. They removed, yes, they removed the end credit scene from Toy Story 2 that showed Stinky Pete with the two Barbie dolls, we remember that one. Um, they also censored a dryer scene in Lilo and Stitch, instead of having Lilo hide in a dryer, they instead have hit, have her hid underneath a table behind a pizza box, a table that looks very much like an oven, and that is Josiah's video on that. What do you think of these make, yeah, what do you think about all this, so great job developing in the comments. And again, buy did buy physical media. It, 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 this is this is going to continue to be a problem, and this is why this is why we continue to go after woke Hollywood. This is why we continue to go after them for their nonsensical practices. This is not going to slow down as long as people are willing to accept it. What is going on in Hollywood right now? Revisionist history. They are rewriting history. In 20, 30, 40 years from now or whatever, they are going to be able to take any film that existed and literally change it up to the current political standards to make people believe that this is how it's always been. And it, it is a weird, weird situation going on right now. And if you don't see this, then you just 
are not someone that should even be listening to this video. If you don't understand what's going on, you are just going to listen and deal. You're just going to accept anything Disney's going to send your way or anything Hollywood's willing to send your way. And that's perfectly fine. But the reality of it is, is this is a terrible precedent to set. Terrible precedent. And it's unacceptable. And we have to continue to call this nonsense out because if it does not get called out, if we don't do something to save these films and these shows and these games, then what are we doing without history? How can you rewrite history? How can you pretend that it never happened? It's trying to indoctrinate, you know, a different generation to make them go like, no, the world was never like this. It was always like this. That's the goal here. These people are out of their minds. So again, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, geeksandgamers.com, we're working on it. New forums, new website, profiles. It's a big task for us. I'm super nervous about launching this site. We're trying to get everything uh, up to speed, get everything done. Hopefully within the next few weeks, this is going to happen. We're also over on Twitch. We have a Twitch channel. We've been doing a lot of streaming over there. We also have Geeks and Gamers Live, a new live channel that I've created because we're going to be doing more live streams here on the channel. We also have Sports Wars. We also have Park Hopping. We also have Game of Week Geeks over on YouTube. A lot of moving parts to Geeks and Gamers, and I appreciate all of the support that you continue to give us. You guys have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video. Solo Lost Money, Raylos are weird, and we will talk to you later.